This is Breaking Down the Riff, part four. Here's the riff. So those of you that want to hear that again and use your ears rather than my break it down process, I'll do it one more time for you. The set of notes I'm using is D, Blue scale, which is really, really similar to D minor pentatonic, except from we have a little passing G sharp in. Very similar to pentatonic. <laughs> Just having that extra little G sharp flick in. We're going to break it down now, breaking it into little sections, hopefully, and again this is down to you to spot the direction and the shape, whether or not it's leapy or jumpy. <laughs> start low or high well it's starting fairly low and it's working its way up if we do the uh, D that's too low and I wanted to avoid the first note of that because it's a little bit obvious that we're just doing a D blue scale or a D pentatonic scale so I've skipped that D out and started on the next note up which is pretty much all it is it's quite showy um, but we just work our way up and hopefully you can hear that there's no going up and going down like we did in number three. So it's just pentatonic. It sounds quite showy because we're going through a range of notes and again on alto we'd be starting on a different note and, and we wouldn't have the scope to necessarily go so high. So hopefully you got that. So it's F, G, A, C, D, F, G, A, C, D. Do it really slow for you. F, G, A, C, D over the register. F, G, A, C, and then high D. Okay. Then... I kind of go a little bit down, so it's what's called an enclosure when you don't just go up a high note, you kind of go slightly back down again. Um, so it's just back down to the note that we came from, the C. So that sort of movement. Held that bit, and then the next bit is where we finally put in this little G sharp from our blue scale. Sounds a little bit like the Pink Panther and if you can hear that Pink Panther kind of sound then you've got a semitone going on or if it went the other way around we've kind of got jaws so there's some little cheats for you to try and figure out what's going on. And the note that is the na is F, just one little step down, which is the note that we started on, but down the octave key. So I'm going to just play it here for you and try and sing it so you can see my fingers a little bit better. So F, G, A, C, D, F, G, A, C, D, C, hold it. Flicky notes, G sharp, G sharp, G, 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 D, F, and that's it. So we've got a little bit of a flurry of movement a hold and then a little bit of a uh, kind of funkiness with that little flicky note to get down to F again. So hope you like that one. I'll play it with the track and then you can play along with me. See if I can find the buttons to press it. Okay, so like we did last week, I'll go a little bit slower. So
hope you like that. I'm now going to spin over onto alto. <laughs> So, breaking this down, slight development from last time, instead of using pentatonic, we're going to use um, blue scale, which is exactly the same as pentatonic, except we have an extra note in. So, the pentatonic would be um, uh, for D minor, or it's the same um, with F major, so F major pentatonic, as I've been previously demoing. <laughs> And to make it minor, we just start on D instead. And the way to get it into a blue scale is to just add that G sharp, so G, G sharp A. Two octaves. So I'm kind of going to be stealing a little bit from both because there's a real bad tendency to overuse the blue scale and then it becomes a bit predictable and a bit boring. That's the first bit we're gonna look at. Starting low, I'm working up, unlike last uh, session, if you caught number three, where I kind of zigzagged as a little pattern, this is just plain sailing, it's ascending, uh, but because of those leaps with the pentatonic scale slash the blues scale, it gets there quite quickly. Um, and we don't start on, on the low D, we're gonna start on F. There's no trickery there, it's just the pentatonic going up. So if you're unsure, F. G, A, C, D, F, G, A, C, D. And that's it. Quite showy sounding. And the next part. We just hop down a step to get to a C and I held that statically to kind of create a little bit of um, tension or... Um, kind of like a holding point rather than just moving all the time because again some players it gets quite tedious if we're playing all the time so a held note can be quite good um so down from our d down to c and here is where this little bit of a, a blue scale uh comes in <laughs> And for this pentatonic, um, blue scale, pardon, it's it's just the little G sharp to G. Everything else there is staying static. Uh, quite a tricky movement if you're not used to playing sax. You need to get these little fingers strong. Um, and it sounds a little bit like Pink Panther, which is why I chose it. And that little movement, if you can hear that, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, chances are it's a semitone. It might not be those fingerings, it could be a different uh, semitone. But if you can hear that, that, that will help you on your way to find the next note. Um, if you heard it the other way, like Jaws, so um, having these kind of little units to help you associate an interval, so Last lesson we looked at the somewhere over the rainbow for an octave. So if you can hear Pink Panther, da da, it's a little semitone, or da 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 da, it's Jaws. So and hopping down to one note below to finish off on the F. I'm going to put the track on, and we'll play it half tempo like we did last time. Um, yeah, let's do that.
Um, again, me personally, I think changing the key, although I need to get used to that and transcribing a bit quicker, um, is, is easier because of the permutations of what the fingers are doing on the saxes rather than last time when I demoed between saxes, it was different range, different uh, difficulty on the fingerings. Um, so as ever, um, like and subscribe, give us a comment down below. It's been wonderful and I'm, I'm doing this on a weekly basis so that I can take your feedback on board and alter things, change things slightly um, to make sure that it's, it's better content for you guys. Um, so that's that riff for you and I'll, I'll work on something else. If you want to give us some suggestions, I'll do that. And as ever, happy practicing and happy saxing. All right, take care. Bye. <laughs>